Hello parents, I've sent you a link to this page on our site and when you get here, you're not going to be logged in and you can't log in. You're gonna see everything gray like this, which means it's unavailable. But because you're a visitor, you can still see anything that's not under construction or locked for another reason. This, if you click on, you're going to see this item is under construction. If you click back on the missions icon on the top, you can get to this parent information. And I've also linked you directly here where from this point forward, I'm, and you can see that when you get to a mission, it's going to say, you know, you're viewing this as a guest. Gameplay is disabled. You can see what everybody else sees. Um, and right here, I'm recording this week five video. For the following weeks, at the beginning of the week, I will record an additional video with updates for you. I'll still use Infinite Campus to connect you, but you can always come back here for information without digging through your email saying, when, when did he tell me that? When was that? So week five, here we are. What I want you to do is ask your, ask your student to show you his or her site, because their site is going to have color. Um, green is complete. Yellow means it's available. Parent information. Tuesday will be available after I finish your video. There's daily updates for your son or daughter, and I want the students to be keeping up with this. Why don't you ask to see their site and see, are they doing their daily updates? Is there more yellow than green here? Are there images submitted for these different missions? These are videos that um, are either informative or inspirational for one reason or another. These three columns are the important things. Now, if you check Infinite Campus and check attendance, this gives you an idea of your student's grade. Here's my rubric. Here are the grades. Here, these are the backbone of our system. Okay, how we function in this class is very different. I bet you've never seen a rubric that had that few words. That's it, that's the entire rubric. And if you wanna know how I know, watch that. And then I continue to update everything to give the students more information. My grades, if you look at attendance, look at the participation going on. If you're there one day a week, well, you're in this category, you're in that 20% category. If you're there four or five days a week, well, you're in this category, as long as you're doing work. This just showing up is half of it, doing work authentically. And if you see a circle with an X in it, um, it means I have reset that mission for one reason or another. Ask, if you're seeing a lot of that, ask your son or daughter, click on their stats panel and go to messages. Click right there. Any messages I have sent are going to be under this tab. You can see their date and time, everything they've done under the history tab. There's a lot more to this, but... I have all the information and more that Schoology has via this site. <clears throat> and the reason I'm using this is I've been working on this first with students and then with another teacher since 2011. This is sophisticated. It is a great way to deliver content and it's a transparent classroom. You can see all my lectures. You can see all the projects. You can hear the instructions. You can follow along. Everything is public. I want to keep everything on the up and up so you know what's going on in here. And I'll tell you right now, if your student receives anything other than an A on the progress report, it's a self-inflicted wound because there are no tests. I just ask kids to be honest, to have integrity, to work, to put in the effort. We're supposed to be putting in 10 hours per week per class. So you can look at what they've submitted. And each of these things has a response that I asked for. You know, I'm using canned content here. This is just a sample account. But what is their reaction to the rubric? 
No, look at what they have submitted. So you can see every single thing they've done or have not done. Okay, sorry for the long video, but I felt it was important, especially since grades are coming down. Uh, but we also, you know, besides the pandemic and everything that goes along with that, we have a fire burning east of us with Santa Ana winds uh, scheduled to start this evening, which if the fire's to the east of us and the Santa Ana winds blow towards the west, it's a bad combination. <laughs> so we'll see how this week unfolds. Uh, whenever I err on grades, I'm going to err on the side of the student, okay? I will always give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, so I don't know what your situation is this week, but I wish you the best of luck. Please take care of yourself and uh, stay safe.